I'm now for the CBS News Philadelphia Pet Project with the animal advocate Carol Erickson with the PSPCA and Marvin, and we're talking dogs. Your language this we, morning, Carol. We certainly are talking dogs. And you know, it may come as no surprise to anyone that I'm a big fan of dog adoption. And one person, of course, cannot adopt all the dogs that need to be adopted, but one individual can help a whole bunch of shelter dogs. And it is not that difficult to do, and there's research backing up why it works. So let's take a look at some adoptable dogs. Not They're not from us, from the Pennsylvania SPCA, but these are just representatives of dogs that are out there and looking for homes and we've got some beauties at the Pennsylvania SPCA as well. Now here is how one individual can help a whole bunch of these shelter dogs and researchers found and they reported this in the journal Animals and they looked at the records of almost 2,000 dogs in 51 shelters and it turns out that short-term fostering even a night or two for a dog to be out of the shelter and in someone's home increased the chances of that dog getting adopted by 14 times and this is not adoption by the foster this is adoption by somebody else they the dogs just really thrive and they thrive for a little while after that they get that break so these dogs that were in this night or two fostering situation were probably spending an average of 10 days once they got back to the shelter before they got adopted and why is that 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 a night or two out of the shelter will make a dog more adoptable researchers in previous research have shown that dogs taken from a shelter for even a few hours hours or a night or two will reduce the dog's cortisol level, which we all know is a stress hormone, and getting out of that noisy shelter allows the dog to rest better too. Is anyone uh, on their best when you've had a bad night's sleep? Well, a lot of these dogs don't get the kind of sleep and rest that they can get in a home like that little beauty right there. So even volunteering at the shelter to take a dog out for a couple of hours for a walk and a change of scene for the dog and getting the dog seen by people while they're out can can significantly increase a dog's chances of getting adopted by about five times. People hear the stories, they see the dogs in a whole different light when they are not stressed in the shelter with all the dogs barking and the noise and the new people wandering back and forth and the loneliness and all the all the rest of it. Again, it is no different than people who are stuck in an overcrowded situation. They are not at their best, so getting these dogs out is key. Now, at the Pennsylvania SPCA, here's how you can help in our foster program, and you can check out all the details. Go to our website, that's PSPCA.org. Then you can click on Get Involved on the menu, and then you'll find the fostering, and you can volunteer and will supply in many cases the food and some of the litter if you're uh, fostering a cat that sort of thing toys so we want these dogs to get a break because we want them to get into a real home the shelter is great we treat them beautifully but it's a shelter and it's a whole different setup when they are in there these dogs thrive when they're out and if you can ever see them out by themselves whole difference I found Marvin, he was out by himself. I saw Fred, my dog upstairs in the shelter. He was stressed and he was a mess. He got home and he was the best. And he still is. I hear him upstairs tiptoeing around. Let me show you some of the animals that we've got right now. Pennsylvania SPCA. I talked about that fostering program. Well, Chunky Monkey, an owner surrender, very stressed at the shelter, but a foster from our program stepped up and Chunky Monkey right now is in a foster home. He needs a real lifetime home again. He is just a doll. He was just <laughs> so confused about being in the shelter. That's a big cat, isn't it, Jan? No, oh, lot to love yeah. there. Yes, lots <laughs> too. Um, and Shiloh, a retriever lab mix, came in through our animal law enforcement. We do such great work getting these dogs out of bad situations. This is a playful boy, and guess what? He was just adopted, and we are thrilled. We love these success stories. And let's make Mariah another success story. We need to. This girl is four years old. She's just a beauty. She, too, came in through animal law enforcement over a year ago. She's very sweet. She loves hikes, cuddling, smart. She loves to learn. That's Mariah. All these animals, Pennsylvania, SPCA. And, boy, do we have a bunch of them. Go on our website, and you'll be able to scroll down, see the cats, the dogs. There are pictures. 
pictures, little stories about each one of them. You can get hold of us through adoptions at PSPCA.org on any animal you want to see or go to the shelter. We're at 350 East Erie Avenue in Philadelphia anytime from 12 to 630 every day and you can find the love of your life as I did right here with Marvin. You and said Fred. It time and time again, Carol, these animals do not show well in the shelter and this doesn't have to be a long-term commitment. You can take them out for a walk. It's as simple as that. That's exactly right. Sign up to be a volunteer. Sign up to, to foster one dog and see how that goes. And I think you will improve your life and you'll certainly improve the life of the animals you bring in. So yeah, Pennsylvania SPCA, just help our, help our animals. They, they, they don't do well in overcrowded situations.